De Indiase ambassade in Paramaribo heeft gisteren de dag van de grondwet van India gevierd. De Indiase grondwet is al 70 jaar werelds langst geschreven grondwet. De Indiase grondwet werd op 26 november 1949 aangenomen. Mahinder Singh Kanjal, hij is ambassadeur van India, zegt dat de Indiase grondwet gedachten van nationalisme stimuleert en dat alleen het Indiase parlement veranderingen kan aanbrengen in de wet. De ambassadeur benadrukt dat de Indiase grondwet geen beperkingen kent op het gebied van geloofsovertuigingen. Indian constitution is a single constitution for both the union and states. The constitution promotes the unity and convergence of the ideals of nationalism. Single constitution empowers only the parliament of India to make changes in the constitution. It empowers the parliament even to create a new state or abolish an existing state or alter its boundaries. The preamble of the Indian constitution begins with we the people of India. So people of India are the ultimate custodians of the constitution. It is in them that sovereignty vests and it is in their name that the constitution was adopted. The constitution empowers the citizen but the citizen too empowers the constitution. By following it, by adhering to it, by protecting it, and by preserving to make it more meaningful with words and deeds. The constitution is nobody's preserve and it is everybody's preserve. It believes in equality, freedom and justice for its people. The constitution has declared India a secular state. India does not give special status to any religion. It provides its citizens complete freedom to choose their religion. DNA-voorzitter Janne Vergeerling Simons haalde aan dat een grondwet de basis vormt voor de ontwikkeling van elk land. The constitution is for every country the backbone and the guidance of the system of rights and duties of citizens and forms the basis for, our develop, for the development of our societies. It gives us our community strength and provides us with an anchor that gives direction when we plan our development. So on this day, I look back to the 70 years that India had the constitution which is also connected to its independence and I want to salute India with the social and economic development in those 70 years. India today is a nation with an important role in the world and has positioned itself as a leader in, uh, in several important fields. DNA-voorzitter Janne Vergeerling Simons sprak gisteren bij de viering van 70 jaar van de Indiaanse grondwet in het Swami Vivekananda Cultural Center. Geerling Simons ontving van de Indiaanse ambassadeur een grondwetboek van India.